It is um, an album featuring the band's work between 1971 and 77. Uh, it's the second time I've gone back to revisit um, that era. We did an album called Genesis Revisited Number One in the late 90s, but this is um, a much more comprehensive look at the band's history at that time. Um, there are two albums, both in excess of 73 minutes each, so I think it's real value for money. I've got um, Supper's Ready, which will be a big fan favourite, of course. Yep. Um, but with two albums worth, there's a lot of material covered here, isn't there? Yep. Um, Lamia, Blood on the Rooftops, Can Utility and the Coastliners, Chamber of 32 Doors, Fly on a Windshield, Horizons, and, and so the, the list goes on. Quite a lot of, of the wind and weathering stuff, too. Um, Afterglow. In their quiet earth, unquiet slumbers for the sleepers. Um, there's masses of stuff, but it's really, it's really stellar material. And some material which is not Genesis. It begs the question: Why would it be on this album? Well, um, some things have been restored, rather like deleted scenes from a movie. Um, much of those four extra songs um, were um, recorded with some members of the band and co-written with other members of the band. So. Um, Things like uh, Tower Struck Down had uh, uh, Mike, Mike Rutherford and, and uh, Phil Collins originally on it, and, and Mike's input in terms of, of, of writing it, as was the case with Shadow of the Hierophant. Um, uh, we rehearsed Shadow of the Hierophant way back in 1972 um, for the, for the uh, Foxtrot sessions, the end of it anyway. Uh, so the coda is, is really Mike Rutherford's, and um, um, you know, obviously there are. There are other things and other references to that, but they are, are restored like deleted scenes, much like um, Please Don't Touch, for instance, um, uh, was originally joined to What Gorilla uh, for Wind and Wuthering. And um, um, to my mind, we ended up leaving out the wrong bit. So um, uh, that's, been, that's been done, and it, it's, a, it's a great new version of it. <laughs> 